bats dying, pollinators dying, lawn chemicals, pharmaceutical drugs in our water, antibiotic drugs, chemicals, wireless radiation, kids getting autism and chronic disease, chemical, metal, medical, and telecommunications industry um, having control over government. If you right now became a completely powerful head of the country with total control and authority, what would be the five to 10, or five is fine, specific laws that you would enact as the head with full authority that would have the most impact? What are your five specific, not philosophy, the specific laws that you would put in place right away? Because we're making America great again, right? <laughs> Uh, as some of you know, I was a presidential appointee, and I want to say for having served in the, a government and been approved by the Senate, it's not easy. I mean, we can make fun of officials and everything, and some of them are really perfect for Saturday Night Live. There's no question about it. But it's really not easy to govern. We have a big, complicated country with lots of people. Having said that, with all due respect, I don't think we necessarily need a single new law. I really don't. I think we need to implement the ones we have. We have the right to know. It's absolutely embedded in the Constitution. A democracy depends on an informed public that freely consents to be governed and elects people to represent the people because they consent to be governed because they are informed. So at the very core of our democracy is the right to know. We are being denied that right to know because the government is not doing the testing on the chemicals, is not screening things before they're introduced. It's treating us like subjects in an experiment with no controls, whether it's chemicals or wireless radiation. So I don't think we need new laws. I think what we need is to use the ones we have already. We have, as you know, pesticide laws. I uh, helped to write the toxic chemical law that is, you know, not very effective right now, but it could be effective if it were ever used effectively. And so it's not a question that we need new laws. We need new implementers of the laws. We need people who respect our rights as American citizens in a great democracy. And yes, the greatest democracy the world has ever known. We really do. And if we had that, I think that we would be uh, much better off than talking about specific laws that we should organize to have because I think we have uh, adequate laws we just need to use the ones we've got and we need to use our rights as American citizens to know to be informed and to be involved in decisions so for example for 5G there's a law being proposed right now that you all need to write to your senators and congressmen about to, to allow 5G antennas to be put anywhere the companies want and you can't say anything at all about where they're located and localities are not gonna be able to get even the normal fees for where the antennas go. So that is why Governor Jerry Brown vetoed that bill when it came before him a few months ago in California. The bill was to say that municipalities would get a small amount of money for the 5G antennas and they could not object at all to where they were located. And this got the city of San Jose and Sacramento as a city and San Francisco and I think LA to object to the law because they were being cut out of any decision making. But the law may come back yet again and at the federal level it is now pending. There are several variations of this law. A new law that will allow telecom companies to put these antennas wherever they want they estimate that in California there would be 50,000 new antennas in the cities alone. And every 200 to 300 yards there would be a 30 foot high tower with an antenna that could be the size of a small refrigerator. And by the way, they're calling them, like George Orwell, small cells. There's nothing small about these cells. They're higher frequency so they don't go as far but they are, you will need thousands and thousands more than we have now. Every city. So that's an example of a law that we ought to organize against, but I don't think we need new laws, and I'd love to hear if you have a different view. Um, 
I would like to see more transparency in, in our products. So right now, um, the word fragrance on a label can mean up to 100 different synthetic chemicals. And it's a trade secret. And so manufacturers don't have to reveal what's in their products. So, and there's something called the precautionary principle in the, the European Union that says that the manufacturer has to prove it's safe before going to market. Here in America, that's not true. We put things on, into market, and then if people get sick, then they have a recall. It just doesn't make sense to me to do it that way. It seems backwards. I, I get so frustrated with uh, corporations and messaging. And um, when you look at the word organic or you know, these other faces, they're so um, manipulated. Today, if I'm an organic um, company, or actually I'm an organic orchard, and I go out to whatever three websites I want to to go find whatever product, and they don't carry it, then I can now still keep my label organic and put straight pesticides out there. It is in law. I tried three times, and I tried three times. I'm still organic. So uh, not fair. No. So I don't know where to, um, uh, if I were to enact a law, if I could, uh, truth in words. Gosh, how do, you know, how to, greenwashing. greenwashing, yeah, because I don't have an answer, but the right to know, right to know uh, and using words that can't be, um, we're, all, we're all inundated with too much stuff. I can't be the experts on electromagnetic. You guys can't be experts on bees. I'm not experts on you know earthworms. I have to rely upon the experts around me to give me good knowledge. And so you know, I can't know. And so I've got to have some outside, independent place that is unbelievably um, neutral, giving me advice. And maybe the, your websites that you're talking about are the right ones. Could you clarify that? Did you? S w w I buy organic produce. Say, is my organic produce organic? They are telling you that it's organic, yes. They are telling you that it's organic. So it's up to the farmer and their ethics to, um, to follow those lines or not. But and if they three times can't find it, they can put regular chemicals? That's like in the Oregon law, yeah. I mean, there, there's a lot of places out there that if you dig deep, I, I tried to be as good as, I tried, I couldn't solve it. But I'm saying when I go to Whole Foods yeah. and I buy strawberries that say organic, are there, you're saying, is it, is it possible that Absolutely. those? Absolutely. Are you sure? Yes. I wouldn't say across the full country. I know, I think it's Oregon. That, that it is, uh, they've tried their best, but the word organic is a, white, a greenwashed it's word. Been compromised. Right, well, it has been absolutely compromised. But what about if it's certified, USDA certified organic? I, I'm assuming that that's. I hope so. That's at least 95% organic. So I, and I only know what I've read, so I, you know, I can't cover the whole country, but I have enough doubt in my mind that it's not as it once was thought to be. I don't have the proof there.